In this paper, we made several significant contributions to the understanding of anisotropy and intrinsic dimensionality in transformer decoders. We discovered a unique bell-shaped curve for the anisotropy profile in transformer decoders, which contrasts with the uniformly distributed anisotropy in encoders. This indicates that the middle layers of decoder models tend to have a higher concentration of anisotropy among all examined models. We also confirm that anisotropy increases progressively in the decoders as the training proceeds. Our empirical analysis showed that anisotropy levels consistently grow during the training phases of various decoder models, followed by stabilization. This suggests an inherent characteristic of the language modeling training dynamics. Furthermore, we identified a two-phase dynamic in the intrinsic dimension of decoder embeddings. During the initial stages of training, the model attempts to map information to higher dimensional spaces. However, as training progresses, there is a notable decline, suggesting a subsequent phase where the model compresses this information, refining more compact concepts. Our methodology involved using the NWIC 8 dataset, English Wikipedia, as the source for embeddings, which contains 100 million bytes of diverse textual content. We removed code, media, and HTML tags, resulting in a clean dataset with a vocabulary of 205 distinct characters. The vectors were grouped into batches, each with a minimum of 4,096 elements. Prior to assessing intrinsic dimension, embeddings were shuffled to mitigate potential correlations. We computed anisotropy using singular value decomposition, SVD and determine the intrinsic dimension of a set of embeddings using a method proposed by previous researchers. Our results showed that anisotropy levels remain relatively consistent across encoder models, with minor variations based on model size and training data. However, decoders exhibit a unique bell-shaped structure, indicating that the middle layers tend to have a higher concentration of anisotropy among all examined models. The averaged intrinsic dimension of models shows a sharp rise in the initial stages of training, indicating the model's attempt to map information to higher dimensional spaces. However, as training progresses, there is a notable decline, suggesting a subsequent phase where the model compresses this information, refining more compact concepts.